Hello, my crafty friends. I have here my Silk and Sonder, and I'm actually really loving this planner. Um, I haven't I'm trying to get into daily rituals for it, but it is beautiful and I really want to protect the covers for it. Now this is a little bit of a a different kind of odd size. It's not quite A5. So I was looking to make a cover for it. I tried one method um, by the YouTuber Scraptastic and I will link her video in the description box below. But she made this with, um, she used kind of a technique with laminating pouches and clear transparencies and creating pockets so it could go around. Now, this didn't actually end up working. It's way too stiff for this. So, I don't know. It would work for, I think you could probably crease it or something like that and use inserts for it, but this wasn't working for me. Then I got to thinking, what if I just created pockets to go on the front and the back? So that's what I'm gonna do. So what you're gonna need is some laminating pouches. I have 10 millimeter here. Um, 10, 10 millimeter um, laminating pouches are going to require a more robust laminating machine. Most laminating machines do three and five mil laminating pouches. Some go up to seven, but um, for like the commercially laminated like covers, they're 10 millimeter or they're 10 mil um, thickness. And so to have that like sturdiness, I actually have a laminator that works with that. <laughs> I'll link that in the description box below. So you're gonna need laminating pouches and transparency film. Now the important part about this is that it's laser printer transparency film. Other transparency films and acetates, unless they say they work with a laser printer or can stand up to heat, they will melt and they will not work. So this will stand up to the heat of the laminating machine when you put the pouches through. So my game plan is to take two pieces, stick it inside a pouch, and then trim to size. Now, the width of this is eight and a half, so that will work out perfectly for this. Um, so I could either do this way and then cut, or I could do this way. I think, um, just so I have enough space, I'll be, um, I'll put the two pieces in and, huh, I think I might have to cut to size if I do it this way. But if I do it this way, then I can just leave one side sealed and then the other side open. Just my only issue with that is that this is exactly eight and a half and so are this and so it might be a really, really tight squeeze to get in. So let me try the first way. This way will be the easiest way. And then if that doesn't work, then I will go back and trim them to just over eight and a half inches tall. And I think uh, seven, seven inches this way. And then I'll just kind of cut at one side and then make that a pocket as well. So let me try that and we shall see. All right, make sure that your two pieces of transparency are lined up nicely when you slide them in the pouch. Try not to get too many fingerprints on your, uh, on your transparency and whatnot. There we go. I don't know if y'all can see that very well. Let me put some black paper behind it. So there we go. We have our two transparencies and then our 10 mil laminating pouch. I'm gonna go run it through the laminator and I'll bring it back and we'll see if it works. All right, so here is my laminated pouch. There we go. 
see this is just a protective folder that can go through it um, just because sometimes the glue from the laminating pouch can go out um, you know I think I might run it through a second time just to really make sure that the edges are adhered so I'm gonna go do that again that is sometimes a good thing to do to go make it go through twice all right second pass had it just a little bit clear so it really set that glue and i also didn't use the pouch this time so there we have it that is going to be the pouch i'm going to let it cool down just a second before i start cutting it and hopefully we have a cover to go on our planner all right let's grab our cutter and let's see so it's gonna slide in like that so we want this to be eight and a half from the edge so we want eight and a half from the edge over so let's see I think a piece of tape will work best and I have some mint tape so I don't have a ruler over here where I'm shooting at the moment. I'm just gonna line up the edge. And then eight and a half. Actually, it needs to be a little less than eight and a half. Let me get my ruler. Move this off to the side for a second. Okay, so the entire planner width is okay so it is seven but with the coils it is let's see it is try to get a good measurement it is six you know well six and three quarters so since I have my ruler out So six and three quarters is right there. Six and three quarters. And then I'll just tear a piece of this mint tape. So it'll come off nicely. And I'll align it right here. There we go. And then that'll give us a pocket, hopefully. And line it up at the edge, and it's not perfectly straight. The tape wasn't perfectly straight on there, but there you go, a couple times, and we have a pocket. All right, let's see if this method works. All right. So let's see if we can slide it in there. Not so cattywampus. A little bit of a tight fit, but I think that that will be okay. It's kind of hard to slide it on there straight. might need a little bit more room because it is going beyond the edge right there so let me try and shove this in yeah it is getting kind of hung up a little bit okay so I think we're gonna need um, we're gonna need the transparencies um, just a little bit wider than eight and a half so we will have to cut them to size experiment 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 okay so I have another laminating pouch I have more transparency film so we will grab Two more 
Okay, so all right, so we need all right, so we'll cut the width first. So it needs to be six and three quarters this way. So six and three quarters. by, let's see, so this is my eight and a half inch mark right here. So I'm going to go right here to, which I think is just an extra quarter inch. So eight and three quarters, make sure your transparencies are lined up. So about eight and three quarters since my trimmer doesn't go that wide. Make sure your transparency film doesn't slide around. It likes to do that. Hold everything in place. And there we go. That is just going to be slightly wider. And I will put this in my laminating pouch. Make sure the two are lined up as best you can. There might be some movement when you go through your laminator, but these things do happen. Actually, I'm going to do like this because I think it's going to be, I want to have enough seal around so that I can cut if I need to. I know laminating machines say you're not supposed to do this just to have it trim it perfectly. Yep, these transparency films are definitely just getting schmutz all over these, aren't they? There we go. Trying to make sure that everything is lined up along this side. You want it to be lined, you want it to be square with the edge. All right, there we go. I have this right there lined up. Make sure it is perfect as you can get it. I'm gonna run this through my laminator. All right, and here we have our second attempt. So. We're going to need to trim this. Our cover will slide in this way. So, you know, I'm gonna run this through the laminator again. It has kind of a bubble around the edge. So I'm gonna do it again and see if I can't get that to kind of seal up a little bit around the edges. This is because it is just a little bit thicker, but we'll do that one more time. Let's see if y'all can see that. See, there's a little bit of a, a bubble next to it and I want that bubble to be closer. All right, there we go. I think that cleared it up a little bit. So what we're going to be doing is sliding the cover in this way or that way. And so I'm going to leave an edge here, an edge here and an edge here, but I will cut flush with my transparencies on this side because that's the side that we want open. So let me, some dark paper. Okay, so we're gonna leave an edge here. We're going to leave an edge here. We're gonna leave an edge here, but we're going to cut directly against the transparency here because that's gonna be our pocket. So edge, 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 and none. And on my paper trimmer, I have this cutting bed. And so I'm lining my transparency up with the white inside edge that I can see through my cutting guide. And there we have our pocket. All right, let's see how well this time it works. Oh yeah, having that little extra space really, really helps just sliding it on. All right, and there we go. We have our cover 
protecting our planner. Um, these edges are really sharp, so after I get all of these done, I will um, corner around these a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and make another one of these for the back side, and then I'll have my planner all nice and protected. All right, we have our second cover, and I brought over my corner rounder. So this one is from We Are Memory Keepers and it has three different rounding, um, I guess, corners. So a 10 mil, a four mil, and a seven mil. I think I'll be doing the four mil on these just to kind of still have a nice sharp corner, but not sharp and poke, pokey and cutty so it hurts you. So let's trim this and then I'll start corner rounding. So we're leaving the edge, leaving an edge, leaving an edge, and trimming. And this is kind of hard to cut through. Um, my rotary cutter, I have to go a couple times and push kind of hard on it. So just keep that in mind when you are cutting. Then this one, we're going to cut through completely. Uh, oh, there we go. There we go, there's our pocket. Now let me corner around these. So the four mil, just stick it in the hole, make sure it's lined up, and there we go. There we go. And this goes on the back. My, um, my belly is up against the edge of the table, which y'all can't see. So putting this up against something harder against your body is really kind of helping me slide this cover on. And in kind of in a straight way, though it did go a little cattywampus. Pull the opposite side. And it's just a matter of finagling it in there. Just kind of pushing it, not trying to bend the paper too much. Last little bit seems to be the hardest part to get in. Get all the way up to that edge. And I think that that is close as we're gonna get. I'm gonna take this cover off and corner around it and then put it back on. I don't want it to get cut by my planner. There we go. It doesn't go all the way to the rings, but that's okay. And there we have a nicely protected planner. These are so pretty and gorgeous. I can't wait to join a Sonder social and set up my June planner. So thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on all things social. Share this video with a friend. I'd really, really love to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. So if y'all could help me with that, I would sorely appreciate it. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.